December 31st. Happy end of the year, everybody. I'm about to move in with my friend for the month, so I have to leave my van. And I wanted to film this little clip because I'm leaving in like an hour and I'm gonna have separation anxiety. I just put up these lights. Aren't they cute? It even has a remote to control them, like van of the future. Since it was getting really cold and since I don't have anywhere to plug my van in for energy all the time in Toronto, I decided to move in with her for January and possibly February. We'll see how things go. I feel like I can't leave my van for two months, but I'm really excited to switch it up and change things and just see what it's like to live in a house again because it's been so long. Literally, since I've lived in a house, it was last November, November 2019 or something. But I think this will be a great opportunity to just like focus on my work and not have all these distractions of upkeep of my van. I don't have to search for energy and water all the time. So I can focus on making videos and making art and making crafts. And I'm bringing a lot of that stuff with me. So hopefully we can create some interesting things. I have definitely created a really cozy space for me in here and I feel so comfortable to do any of my hobbies. I feel like I'm equipped with everything in here and it's just turned into a really safe, comfortable space for me. So I'm really excited that I always have this van to come back to if the world outside is too stressful, too much, uh, because it has been. But let's try this house living for a little while, I guess. It'll be an experiment. I guess that's it for a check-in. I'll just show you that's all my stuff that I've packed. I have my jacket, my backpack full of stuff, some food, then just crafts and clothes. Good to go, I think. I'm also gonna be bringing my blanket. <laughs> and a pillow. All the essentials. Hey guys, so I am coming to you from somewhere that isn't the van. It's kind of weird, but this is the couch that I'm sleeping on for this month. I am taking a month break from living in my van and just making sure that it's the right choice for me and just making sure that I can't be super a lot more productive when I'm living in a house. So far I have been, but I've just had this energy to create videos, so that's just been really fun. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be back in the van in February. Honestly, the weather in Toronto right now, I could probably even manage it. Today is minus seven, which is pretty cold. I still think I could do it. It's a really sunny day. That's one of the beautiful things while living in a van. I can just park in the sunshine and it makes a big difference. I am a little bit nostalgic for it because it's been like a week now since I moved out of my van. I haven't been this long away from my van in like over a full year. It's something I am coming to terms to. My emotions are like roller coasters, but I have really enjoyed living here so far. I really enjoy having an oven again. I love cooking uh, and baking and it makes it a lot easier with an oven, but I really appreciate this reflection time of living in a house again and giving my moment for like a little bit of an outside perspective. Uh, there's nothing wrong with my van. I totally would have stayed living in it, no problem. But this opportunity came up and I thought it would be really fun to try just for a month. And already living with the girl that I live with, she's very cool. I've already learned a few new recipes from her. Yeah, it's, it's, it's changed my world so far. It's really great. She used to be a cook, so pretty cool. So for this month's content, I'm really gonna focus on arts and crafts, I think, and then compiling some of the footage that I already have for just personal memory video type things. So that's just a little update on where I am right now.